Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie and I forgot my own name there. My name is Debbie and today I have for you a five minute review, at last, a five minute review of The Library at the Edge of the World by Felicity Hayes McCoy. The Library at the Edge of the World follows Hannah who has recently just moved back in with her mum after a divorce and she works at the local library. We also follow Connor who is her part-time assistant and when they get wind that the library is going to close it's up to them and the local community to come together and try and save this library. So three good points. The first good point, I really liked the idea of this book. When I first sort of bought it and I saw the blurb and that and it was about saving a library and community coming together, I thought it was a great, great idea. And I don't know, it's just sort of really true to life at the minute, there's so many libraries closing and that and I just thought it sounds like a great book, sort of pulling in that, that sense of community. The second good point is Connor. Connor is such a lovely character. He pushes the hardest to save the library. You know, he loves working there and he's absolutely lovely to everybody that comes in. You know, the young mums and this the guy I'm about to speak about as well and he puts up with Hannah. The third good point is Oliver. So Oliver is a background character. He's a very small character um, and you just sort of see him in the background and you're sort of first introduced to him when they receive an email asking about a book that he's looking for but the only thing he can remember about it is that it's got a big black dog on the cover. He doesn't know the name, he doesn't know what it's about, he can't remember. Um, so you see him sort of in the library literally checking every book and he just pops up every now and then and he's just like a really really sweet character. So three bad points. This is going to sound super duper harsh, right? But the first bad point is the plot. It sounded really good. It was about a library that was being saved, but it's not really about that. It is about that in one part. And then it's about Hannah trying to save this house and this cafe that can't open and this town planning man randomly. And it's just very, it doesn't really all meld together. The second bad point is there's way too many characters. There's the girls in the cafe, there's obviously Hannah and Connor, and then there's sort of his pals and this guy that's helping to rebuild Hannah's house. I can't even remember his name, but he's she doesn't like him. And then there's the guy that lives in the big house who has a booker or something that this guy works for. I don't even remember. There's Hannah's mum who's like super grumpy for no reason and her pals and their kids and it's like whoa there's like Hannah's ex and it's it's just they just don't it's too much it's too much with the plot that doesn't go well it just it's just no <laughs> okay so the third bad point is Hannah Hannah is the main character and she shouldn't be a main character she doesn't actually care about the library she's very very snobby she at one point actually goes on to say that she hates her job and the best part of it is taking the mobile library out to the like the outer communities that can't get in. And she's only really interested in saving the library so she doesn't lose her money for rebuilding this house. Like belong to her great aunt or something. I don't even know. It's just it's it would have been better if she started as like this really obnoxious cow and then had sort of a okay I'm being obnoxious, I'm very sorry, and sort of had that sort of arc but she didn't. She was just a cow throughout the whole thing and it just would have been like, like the book just would have been better if it just focused on like Connor's side of it. Connor was the librarian, Connor's trying to save the library and bring the community together and Hannah could just be like a separate book. She could be a separate book and she would work fine if it was about saving this house. I'm saving this house. I hate my job but I have to say it because I'm saving my house. I get that. It just doesn't go with this book. So overall I gave The Library at the Edge of the World one star, which is really super harsh. Really super harsh? What am I? 15? Um, terrible grammar. Um, 
Although I like the idea of this book, of the community, saving the library and you know people realising that libraries are super duper important because it's where kids learn and you get books for free and it's great. It wasn't about that. There was just too much plot, there was too many characters that didn't all come together very well. And a main character that I can't connect with is one of the big things for me. It's like if you can't connect with the main character, then there's something wrong with your main character. But, sort of overall, I liked how the community came together to save it, obviously. But how they came together to be a community. Does that make sense? Yeah, it maybe it doesn't make sense, but that is how I feel about it. So there you go, guys. That's a five minute review on The Library at the Edge of the World by Felicity Hayes McCoy. Please like, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video and let me know in the comments what you thought. If you've read this book, let me know. What did you think about it? Did you sort of agree? Do you disagree? Um, if you disagree, it's absolutely fine. Let me know why you disagree and we can start a conversation. That's what this is all about. But until next time, guys, look after yourself, be kind, stay safe, and I will see you later. Mwah.